What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create patterns for your walls. So sometimes you want to have some elaborate pattern for your wall, you make you want to make it look cool and people have ask, been asking me for a long time uh, how to place patterns on walls so in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you exactly that. But before we get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because you make tutorials like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. So here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for showing you this and we're just going to be placing one wall, that's all the geometry we need for this and uh, let's just attach it to level 2 and let's make level 2 at 3 meters, we don't need a 4 meter tall wall. Okay, maybe we can make it even smaller. But anyway, so we've got some surface to work with and now let's see the patterns. So if I move Revit out of the way for a bit, as you can see over here, I've got a couple of images. So if I open the first one up, this is what we have. And this is the second one. So people have been asking me for some Arabic uh, patterns and this is just what pops up on Google. I guess that's the uh, that's the most uh, most wanted uh, pattern to place on walls in Revit as far as my audience is concerned. So that's what I'm just going to be using to, to show you how to do it. And uh, the reason why I chose two different patterns is that instead of one is I want to show you the difference between these uh, 2D patterns. As you can see this is just black on white and uh, these uh, kind of a uh, patterns that have a little bit of depth in them. They're 3D, they've got shadows, they, they're really complex and it, they're going to produce a different result when we load them in Revit. So first uh, let me just show you how to prepare one of these images for loading in. Uh, you, now you can use the, the basic image but just to make it a bit easier on Revit and just to make it uh, look uh, that much better I'm just going to make some adjustments in Photoshop but of course you don't have to do this so uh, if you just want to load it straight in you don't use Photoshop, you don't have Photoshop that's okay as well. So let's let me just right click on this image, go open with and choose Adobe Photoshop and uh, now let's just wait for a second for it to open and basically this is what you get. So the first uh, adjustment that I make is I make this black and white because a Revit basically sees this as black and white and everything that's white it's popping up and everything that's black it's uh, it views its, uh, views its views it as a uh, it, it views it as uh, something that's uh, kind of in depth, so something that's carved into the wall. Uh, and so let's make it black and white, so just go here, find black and white, and this is just what you get. So uh, once you do that, uh, maybe you can adjust the contrast and brightness a bit, so just use that filter over here in the adjustments uh, tab, and if you don't have this tab, just go to window, and search here for adjustments and just check it and it will uh, pop up somewhere on your screen. Uh, now so for the uh, for the brightness and contrast uh, you can kind of make it a bit uh, uh, harder as far as the contrast uh, goes and that will give you a bit more depth in your uh, in your model so it will look uh, uh, a bit more deep, the, the pattern will look a bit deeper. So that's just something else you can do. But anyway let's say we we're happy with what we created over here so we can just go here file save as uh, desktop and let's just call it a JPEG and let's add number one here just to differentiate it and let's go save okay so once it's saved on our desktop we can uh, go and use it so I'm just going to uh, turn uh, not save this in Photoshop I don't really need it so we've got uh, this one this one's color this one's black and white and this is that 2d pattern that I'm also mentioned so I'm just going to be showing you that as well okay so uh, let's turn this uh, back to Revit and uh, here select this wall go into edit type and then you have this structure where you basically add all of the materials just go edit and uh, here we don't have any materials picked out for this uh, default 200 millimeter wall so let me just open up that menu and 
let's go with the default uh, material. So you just, or here it is. So this is the default material. Now uh, to create a new material, I usually suggest starting off with the default material or the closest one to what you're using. So maybe if you're making some new metal, you can use this copper material to start from. But uh, just for this uh, basic wall with a pattern, I'm just going to be using the default material. So you just start off from that, right click, uh, you go to duplicate, and let's just call this uh, pattern wall. Okay, you, hi you hit OK and here it is. And uh, once this is selected, you need to go to the appearance tab and uh, make sure you select this duplicate this asset, which uh, basically allows you to uh, uh, to change this material without uh, changing the default material. So if I didn't hit this over here, the default material would change uh, with my uh, original, with my pattern wall material. But because I did that, it won't. Uh, now uh, for the, well, uh, for the color of this material, let's just go with some color that's similar to the one that we have over there. So yeah, let's use some beige color. Yeah, let's go with something like this. Okay, this looks nice now. And now let's add that uh, let's add that pattern. So for that, you need to use this bump menu. So you open it up, you need to check it. And uh, let's just cancel out of that. But basically this allows you to add a bump map. So bump map is basically an image uh, that uh, tells Revit, as I said, where uh, the pattern is or how the pattern looks. So you just go here to uh, select image and you go to computer or desktop. And here we've got two images or our images. And let's use the one that he has a little number one because that's the black and white one. And this is what you'll get loaded in. And here on this thing, if you kind of zoom in, you can see there is a little pattern going on already over here, but it doesn't really look good. So we need to set that up. So what you need to do, you need to scroll down here, open up this drop menu and go into edit image. And if you can't see that, wait, let me just resize this a bit. Yeah. And yeah, so you open up this drop menu and you find this edit image and you open that up. And now here for the dimensions, uh, of course, uh, you don't know the dimensions of this image, but it's something like uh, 1300 pixels by 700 pixels. So uh, I'm just going to go here and make it uh, 3000 millimeters for the scale and uncheck uh, this uh, lock aspect ratio so it won't make it uh, proportionate. So uh, now I'm going to change this to something like uh, 15 or 1600 maybe and hit here. And now it basically uses those dimensions. So whenever you load an image in, as you saw uh, previously, it's going to appear as a square. So then you need to set up uh, the the scale to make it the, the, the correct proportion. Uh, next thing, we've got the brightness over here, so you can change that if you want. I suggest you don't. Uh, you can invert the image, so everything that's uh, black will be white and everything that's white will be black. Again, if you want to change, so everything that's uh, kind of carved into the wall should be popping out of the wall, then I suggest you use this invert image. Uh, but uh, when you're just starting and you want to see what this would look like, then uh, keep that off. Uh, next thing, I'm going to rotate this uh, by 90 degrees. Uh, so I can make a vertical pattern. I just think that looks a bit better. And then uh, let's change this uh, for the width. Let's go 1600. And for the height, let's go uh, 3000. Okay, this should look uh, this should look right. And uh, let's see over here, this is the repeat because you want this thing to be repeated all over your wall. Uh, I just uh, suggest you leave it at tile. It can either be tile or none, you leave it at tile. Just hit done and well, you're done. And if you see over here, now this already looks uh, like it's taking shape, but on this small uh, little material, you can't really see it. If you change this maybe to walls, it might appear better. And as you can see, it does. Something is going on over here. Uh, but really, the best way to see it, you need to go into your uh, into a rendering. So hit apply, okay. 
okay again apply okay and now this is done and to to view it uh, instead of rendering I suggest you use this uh, ray trace option so you just hit that and wait for a second and it's doing something but we can't really see it and if you zoom in a bit more as you can see there is that pattern now maybe we can change the scale a bit or maybe orbit it around to make it at the Sun let's see okay it really slows down the computer when you're using this ray trace but you get the point here is that uh, that pattern and as you can see it looks really nice uh, this is because we have that uh, that depth in the image so that's why here you see it appears to have uh, that depth but let's see what happens if you use just a regular uh, 2d image like that one like uh, like the other one I showed you over here like this one this is basically just a vector image that somebody modeled that somebody created probably in illustrator or something like that so let's test this version out as well uh, so let's just go over here exit this ray trace option okay let's see where's our wall it's over here and uh, now let's just select the wall go into edit type and uh, let's see so go here into structure edit a pattern wall uh, okay appearance open this up a bit and let's change the image so you select this link over here and let's select the the other image we have open it up and then go again into edit image just to set it up so as you can see this uh, it's a bit different of a proportion so maybe it should be a bit uh, maybe it should be here a bit shorter like 800 let's see no that's let's try 2000 yeah I think this works uh, this works well at least just for the demonstration so you hit done and here also you can uh, adjust the amount of this uh, of, the, of the depth of this thing so as you can see here this is really deep now and if we change it to something else it will look less deep so well, let's just leave it at I don't know a hundred is that the I think that's like the default setup so yeah let's leave it at 100 hit apply okay okay again apply okay and let's see let's zoom in a bit and let's try this ray trace let's see what happens and as you can see it looks I mean it still is some sort of a pattern but uh, it I just prefer that uh, the pattern that you have when it has a, a bit more depth. This is this just looks like somebody carved uh, this into the wall, and it's uh, just too straightforward, too simple, I guess. Uh, but anyway, it works. If this is the effect you want to you want to have, of course, uh, by all means, use this uh, type of an image. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this kind of pattern in Revit material tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share this, uh, this video. And if you have any questions, comments or suggestions for any future videos or tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you.